Symbol number 63 is entitled The Intrusion of the Energy of Intuition in the Sphere of Intelligence. Here, the energy of intuition is representing the sexuality. The sexual cells are the most sensitive in the animal kingdom. And animals, as well as human beings, can experience the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of, of God, in flesh and blood through the sexual culmination. But here we see how, how the energy of intuition is intruding in the, in the area of intelligence. The intelligence universe is the brain and the nervous system. The whole picture should ought to be green, but now the energy of intuition has intruded. And there is a lot of collisions between intuitive particles and intelligence particles. And the flames shows there is a world war, there is a world fire, and this is a disease. It can um, more or less be characterized as a mental disease. Martinus is talking about sexuality should go from itself. In the animal kingdom, the sexuality is governed by instinct. The animals don't have to take any teaching or any classes in sexuality. The sexuality in the animal kingdom is governed by instinct. The sexual life should go by itself. It's not good if you start to think too much about the sexual life. And Martinus says you can come into some sexual speculations. If you have had too little sex or too much sex, you can go into what Martinus calls sexual speculations. You can become sexually derailed. Martinus thinks that all different organs have their normal needs. It's healthy for the eyes to get light. It's healthy for the lungs to get air. It's healthy for the stomach to get food. And it's also healthy for the sexual organs to get a regular release or a culmination. It's also healthy for the skin to have touched and to be caressed. So um, it's not good to live in celibacy. And especially if you live a whole life in celibacy without masturbation, this would cause a stagnation of the sexual organs. And then in the coming life, you might become impotent because you haven't used your sexual organs. But the highest power in life is the sexual power. It is like a river, a flood, or the, the river of life. This is the sexuality. And you can try to build a dam to stop the sexuality, but it's not possible. Then the water will be higher and higher, and you can construct a higher and higher dam. But at the end, the catastrophe would occur, and you cannot control the water, you cannot control your sexual forces, and you can actually turn into a sexual maniac. Or you might turn from a nun into a prostitute. You cannot stop the sexual urge, the sexual desire. But you can also become sexually derailed if you have too much sex. There are very rich people, and they are born into rich families, and maybe they do not have a normal work. They are living in parties. They are taking alcohol and drugs, and they are living in parties and orgies, and they have, in a way, too much sex. And if you have been a prostitute, or for different reasons you have had too much sexuality, it's difficult to feel a joy with a normal sexuality. And then you can also go into different sexual speculations. In Levis Bo, Volume 5, Martinus is writing a lot about sexuality, and he's writing a lot about the transformation of the human sexuality, and there are many normal steps in this evolution. As Martinus explains it, we are single pole living beings, but at the end of the evolution, we will have become complete human beings or double pole. There are many normal stages, but there are also many sexually derailments, and there are also many perverted uh, people. And what Martinus has drawn here is some kind of uh, 
perversion, you are starting to have sexual fantasies in a wrong way, you are maybe beginning with sadomasochism, maybe to have a sexual release, you have to beat others or to threat them or you have to rape other people, you have to put on fire, you have to kill people. There are some people want to have sexuality with children, some want to have sex with dead corpses, some want to have sexuality with animals and this is very destroying and if you come into such sexual habits, these habits can become so strong that you will carry these perverted sexual habits with you into coming lives and you can have a series of life where you are living in an abnormal sexuality. But these people are not worse than other people. We are all going to be perfect human beings and in order to become the same we should experience the same, not in details, but we should have the same amount of sufferings. So some people are getting their sufferings in the sexual area, others in area with war, with illness, or with drugs, so they are not worse than other people. We just have to have the same amount of suffering in order to become the same.